Okay, so we've got our different parts down here, and again, like I said before, this is what we are aiming to achieve here. So I'll show you how to do that next part. So what we do is go to File, New, and we're going to go to Assembly. So we'll have our two parts open down at the bottom. Now the main thing we're going to put in here is our floor slab. This is there. And then we're going to go to Insert Component. And I actually want to put in the large I-beam. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here is have our large I-beam open. Okay. Now, to get this set properly, I need to mate the faces here. Okay. So I'm going to select that face. And again, make sure it's the face and not the edge. That, is at the minute, is the edge because of the green line beside the mouse. If you move it up, it turns into a square, and that's the face. So select that. Hit mate, bring it round using your cursor keys to that side, and it, you saw it moving in. Now, bring, hit click, and then bring that into your, say your front view. Okay, that's sitting a wee bit low. So what we're going to do is we can free move this. Okay, it won't come out of the way of the. Uh, see where it's still fitted to the face. Okay, so that's what we're after there. Alright, uh, might just move it down just a wee touch, just there. Alright, so next thing is insert component. And actually, do you know what we'll do? So we'll minimize that, and then here, we'll go to file, open, and we'll make sure our large I beam is opened as well. And then we can minimize that, and when we go back into our assembly, and go into insert component. You'll see it's there. Just make makes it a wee bit easier and going in the browse all the time. So click your part two A beam, bring it in again, and then we're going to line this up. So at the minute you can see he's in the middle of the concrete floor. It's not what he wants. So we'll select that face, zoom out, bring it back round, mate, zoom into this face, and it brings it out. Jobs are good. Click the tick, insert component large eye beam here we go select that face hit mate come round make sure we're selecting the face and not the edge click the tick happy days insert component large eye beam and there he is and select the face zoom it out hit mate bring it round hit mate now when I put this in our front view you can see this is sort of they're not they're not mapped out properly so what we'll do is move component we'll move this one to the very end well not the very very end but rightly about there and then click the tick move component put that one there just eyeball on it at the minute to make sure that these are as level as possible and then we free drag move component and we'll move that one in the about there okay now how do we check if these are all sitting level now uh, we'll turn that around into our side view and you can see that some of them are sitting slightly higher but all you have to do is go through move that up get it in line hit the tick uh, move component zoom it in a bit click on that one in line there, hit the tick, move component, all you're doing really is just selecting those up all in row until they're all in line. Okay, now, might have moved a bit that way, so that's fine. All we're wanting to do then is just space these out, like so that looks pretty even to me. Okay, so that's one side done. And then all we're going to do is the exact same thing on the other side okay but we'll show you that in the next video and then we'll put in the top roof slab as well